Hello, this is Desi. Hello, this is Rita. We're going to be giving you recipes today. We're going to start with the idea. Let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. And that's very, very profound advice. Now, the Bible will tell us that fruits, seeds, products, the vegetables, the leaves of the field, that these are, are supposed to be our foods. Natural medicine is the key to your health. We start with what not to eat and also exercise. You have to exercise. We tell you the super diet tips, what to avoid and how to so eat. We have to tell you what to eat. How, how to, to keep your immunity. How to, how to cook with love. We want to tell you, you got to stop the sugar. And you have to replace the sugar with apple and healthy sugar, apple fruit sauce. sugar, apple sauce. An apple a day helps keep the doctor away. And eat the apple seeds too, about 20 a day, can help stop viral replication. Also, substitute sweet potato, potato hash. for the natural, that white potato. And it helps you to build your immunity and strength. Here's a list of foods that you want to help to get happiness, serotonin, and adrenaline, and, and recognize that not just what you eat, but also how you eat, because you want to be make sure that you don't just, you are what you eat, but you also are what you absorb. And what's your lifestyle, what's your food, you have to carefully chew your food that keeps you also very present, and you have to watch what you let into your everyday life. The body. rules of digestion, very, very important. And to help kill viruses, boiling vinegar and adding a little bit of these different oils can and, also help. And use spices. Speaking of spices, here's a very cheap but also extremely healthy little bit of food, little tip. As how to use black pepper bread at any restaurant, any place in the world. Cheap, easy, very, very healthy. Now follow the recipes as we're giving them. You stop and start. We're going to give you a little description of each recipe. Shortly, we are going to uh, educate all you people how to prepare your meals healthy, uh, easy, and fast. And this is very important to put the healthiest dishes on the table. Now, here's a formula to cure fatty acid deficiency by combining the oils at low temperature, not cooking, with the avocado to make a guacamole. It's very, very important. This will cure your fatty acid deficiencies, help you with viruses. To boost your immunity, here's a formula that I made that really produces something for the children, got a nice little flavor for it, and yeah. it is very interesting. You can find all the answers in nature, and if you use it properly, you will get very, very healthy and strong. I like that picture of me. Oh, very sexy, baby. <laughs> this is a spicy, immune-stimulating uh, recipe, and anytime you would like to receive it, we're happy to ship it to you, and you can you can contact us. We are happy to provide you with all the information you need. You could stop uh, your video and read these things. This is an immune stimulating salsa. Spices are really, really good for the immune system. And this is an immune stimulating cookie. So you can also eat sweets and enjoy life without synthetic sugar. And stimulate your immune system at the same time. Good for your children, good for everybody. Good for your whole life. You don't have to give up sweets, you can get into natural. You just have to switch it into natural. Here's a great immune stimulating dessert. Sor sorbet. An immune stimulating sorbet to stimulate your immune system. Made with blueberries, strawberry, raspberry. Mm, delicious. Stop and uh, look at the recipe anytime so you can write it print print screen. And maybe you, you also can create your own recipes and share it with us in the future. Now here's very important. Make your bowel flora balanced and to get all the different juices. Kimchi. kimchi, learning how to make kimchi with the cabbage, the great fantastic cabbage. And here's the kimchi. It is a Japanese recipe. That comes from uh, from Korea. Korea, okay. Wonderful type of food, it's page one, here's page two. And you can stop, read all the recipe, and find out how to make one of the most fantastic foods that you'll ever find in the entire world, because cabbage and in such a way would help to really prepare your bowel flora. Inside your bowel flora, you're going to get all the different neurotransmitters, all the different hormones. Here's another recipe for easy kimchi. We make this at, at home, and it's really great. It will help your bowel flora, which produces all of the different things. Motivation, energy, happiness, all of this comes from a healthy bowel flora. Now here's a very good recipe. Zucchini noodles. Make zoodles. Zucchini noodles. 
Google. And you can, very, very simple, very, very easy. You don't need to have that pasta. You can make your own pasta from zucchini. From vegetables. And it's fantastic. It tastes wonderful. And it takes a very short time to prepare. It's very easy, very simple. Italian zucchini noodles with garlic. And here's a nice recipe. I'm already getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a very nice recipe. With some Parmesan cheese. In and now you don't have that, that, uh, that pasta. You don't have that heavy pasta. You don't have the processed food from there you have something. It's very important to avoid the processed synthetic uh, ingredients because that is really lowering your blood sugar and the immune system. Here we have a chicken stew that is very important. We want to try to use antibiotic free chicken as much as possible. Uh, range fed, we want to be able to get that so you not get the Get as organic as flavor as you can. Black bean and mushroom burgers. There's no reason to be eating meat burgers anymore. There's very many good different meat uh, uh, meat substitutes out in the market. Even uh, Mc, uh, Mc, uh, not McDonald's. Burger King. Burger King. Burger King. Burger King created the impossible burger. Yeah, they created the Rebel Burger with vegan meat made of vegetables. Here's zucchini sticks. Mediterranean baked zucchini sticks. Baked. Bake. What did I, I said bake it. Oh, okay, bake. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is fine. Anyway, uh, very good and uh, wonderfully rich and nutritious. Uh, flavor rich. Cooking less is always better than cooking more. Yeah, use use the stove, use wok, steaming. Try to avoid boiling things in oil. Here's a seafood dish, wonderful dish. Paella. Uh, to try to bring all the different flavors and etc. Try to use this as chemical free meat as possible. Chem chemicals are really bad for your nerve system. And here is split pea soup and bone <laughs> broth. This is a very good stimulant to the immune system. And Slow also cooker. the split pea is fantastic for the bowel flora. You need plant fiber in order to live happy and healthy lives. Everything starts in the gut and in the stomach so you have to have a good digestion. Here's an additional one, lentil. Detox lentil and split pea soup. Lots and lots of fiber. You need plant fiber to fight cancer. You need plant fiber to get all the different hormones. Amino acids, motivation, fatty acids. Fight anxiety, stress reduction. Very important to get the bowel flora. And this is a fantastic recipe. And it gives you also mental health and stability. Here's a spicy cucumber recipe. And you can start even using the cucumber in the certain slice instead of hot dog buns. And cucumber is also good with water and that gives you a good detox for your body. Add a little bit of the, to your water, it gives it a nice little flavor. Thank you for your attention. Here's a vegetable chickpea stew, excellent for the uh, fiber, help, to help the body, making sure your bowel flora gets uh, balanced. Hit print, uh, hit stop screen, hit print screen if you want to save these recipes. Vegetables or come together with chickpeas, tomato sauce, and herbs. Here's a chickpea salad. Mm, Excellent. And I found a nice little thing is to take my salads, throw them in the microwave just for about 20 seconds, and get them warm, huh? warmish, or uh, the Chinese would use what they call stir fry. And then it brings to life many different flavors. The human body likes likes a little warm food. Yeah, Mediterranean quinoa salad is our next choice. A side dish recipe with quinoa, fresh cucumbers, seasoned tomatoes, olives, and feta cheese. Yeah, wonderful different, uh, just supplying all the different nutrients. This is also a very interesting, cute little summer dish. Very good, very satisfying in the summertime, as well as any time. Here's some cod and pineapple slaw. Cooked in oven, right? Yeah. Very, very good. I threw this recipe in there for you. Sea fishes are all, white fishes are all very, very healthy combined with vegetables. And the deep sea fish will have more oil, so things like the orange roughing, etc. Here's a sauteed kale formula. Oh, wow, it looks and it's a, a, probably one of the most nutritious foods in the entire world. In fact, several of the, of the fast food restaurants are starting to use this and make a type of, of uh, kale for you. Papaya mango salsa. Very, very good. Two very ripe good. papaya diced in small cubes. Mm. This is an excellent, excellent digestive aid at the end of a heavy meal. The papaya, and add a little pineapple there, 
provides a digestive aid. <coughs> Next, no baked savory sweet snack bars with chia seeds, almonds, and rice. Yes, this is wonderful tasting, great for the kids. It takes the place of a candy bar. Made correctly is wonderful, and with flavor is there for the children. How to make chia seed pudding, easy recipe, looks very, very delicious. Fantastic, it helps your digestive system as well as it helps supply fatty acids, A wonderful. Strawberry sauce, fresh blueberry, fresh fruit seeds, one of the healthiest desserts. Here's one of my favorites, you throw some chia seeds. Or chia Snacking seeds. popcorn chia seeds. Make sure it's hot air popcorn, that's healthy, the microwave popcorn is unhealthy. On a bowl of hot air popcorn, sprinkle flax, flax seed, seed oil, oil and, and, and some chia seeds. Life. Wonderful flavor. Mm. Now this is a very, they should, you don't use this an awful lot, but this will kill fungus in the system. Eye of potato, I, ear of corn, head of cabbage. But that eye of potato can be harmful. Well, this is Desi and Rita, and I hope you liked our little bits of recipes. Enjoy your dishes. Enjoy your meal. And write to us if you have any problems or concerns. And share your ideas and your recipe ideas with us. Oh, one more thing. Got to talk about eating right, changing foods. Don't buy bad foods. Everything, you don't buy them, you can't eat them. Everything starts in your kitchen, and everything starts in what you put on your table. Don't buy them for your children. Don't buy them for your husband. Don't buy bad food. Showing they love. Them. Show them love and kindness. Care about their health. health. Their Showing life. love doesn't that doesn't mean that you have to give them sugar, oil, or or or, or bacon uh, dishes. Or yeah, exactly. Stay away from the pigs. Stay away from the GMO. Stay away from the bad food. Find a healthy way to to be nice and and loving for your. Family, and you don't have to cook them. When you food. go shopping, don't uh, buy things on impulse. Don't buy those things with the pretty packages. Yeah, buy don't. Yeah, don't buy them because they look pretty, pretty and cute and pink. 